Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make your own work of art using a technique called ball chain acrylic art. So let's get started. Here are all the supplies you'll need to make this at home masterpiece. I gave my canvas a black background because I think it'll look better with the colors I'm using. I have my ball and chain necklace. I also have my acrylic paints. If you don't like the pouring paints that you got in your box, you can always use squeeze tube acrylics. The pouring paints work a little better for this project. Um, I also have duct tape to hold my canvas down to my art surface. Water is always good to have when you're working with acrylics, so go grab a glass you don't care really much about and fill it up with water. So it doesn't shift while we're doing our artwork, I'm going to hold my canvas down with a piece of duct tape. If you don't have an art surface like I do, you can lay out a rag or paper towels and hold down the corners with some heavy objects. Before we begin, I do want to make a disclaimer. I am not an artist. Uh, I have an art table in my house because I think it's fun to do crafts, um, but I have no artistic talent. I'm just following directions and enjoying myself along the way. Art is a great stress relief outlet, and I hope you find some calm and peace while you're doing this art project. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you a couple of techniques you can use um, to make this ball and chain acrylic art look amazing. The first technique we're going to talk about is pouring the paint on your canvas before you use your ball and chain necklace. So let's grab our paint and let's get started. I'm going to pour my first color in this squiggly line in the bottom right hand corner of my canvas. I'm going to pull the ball chain straight to the right bottom corner, so I'm going to work in this area. I'm going to add some blobs of my second color on the inside of the squiggly line. Uh, this is so that the second color stays on the inside of my design while the first color stays on the outside. I'm going to lay out the ball chain on the outside of my paint lines, leaving enough on each end to be able to pull it down towards the corner. Alright, now it's time to make some art. Make sure you pull your chain nice, even, and slow, making sure you keep your chain as even to your canvas as possible, and only lifting it up at the very end create your first masterpiece and look at this isn't it amazing go ahead and throw your ball and chain into your water so we can clean it off dry it and do another round of painting um, I'm probably gonna go in later and add some white just because I have it and just because I want to you should be as creative as you feel with this project. You can leave this as is or spruce it up a little bit. For the next technique, I am going to put the paint on the ball and chain necklace before I put it on the canvas uh, to create a different look. I started to add globs of paint to my chain, making sure I cover as much of it as possible. I'm going to lay it down in a squiggly line on my canvas, and we're going to pull it and see what happens. Here's how I put the squiggly line on my canvas. Make sure you have enough ball and chain left over on the end to Pull it, and as always, make sure you're pulling as even to your canvas as possible, and go for it. I suggest you pick a single direction to pull, and this is the cool design that comes out when you make a squiggly line. Because I have the room, I'm going to add one more design right here. 
I decided to experiment a little and just kind of glob my paint in this kind of pattern. So let's lay our chain down and see what happens. Again, make sure you leave enough chain on each end so that you can pull it. Pull in one direction and pull it slow and as even to your canvas as possible. And now we get a third completely different, unique, beautiful design. And here's our completed canvas. What do you guys think? You can be 100% done once you've done all of your pulls through the acrylic with your ball and chain, or you can do what I did here. I just added a little bit more color into the background and I added some white lines to highlight. Again, I am by no means an artist. I'm just doing what feels good in the moment for me. I think this is an awesome little piece of art that I can put up on my wall. There's definitely no right or wrong way to do this and I only did three of the hundreds of techniques that exist to do ball and chain acrylic artwork. I can't wait for you guys to get creative and I can't wait to see what all of you think up. If you need some inspiration, I found a ton of different methods and materials people used. So try it on canvas, cardboard, paper, try with different colors and just uh, let your creativity guide you. And if for some reason you think you are not talented or creative enough to do this project, I will leave you with this quote from my favorite artist, Bob Ross. This is your world, you're the creator. Find freedom on the canvas, believe that you can do it, because you can do it. You can do it. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you want to show off your artwork or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me here at dtubman at jewishrochester.org. Happy painting! <laughs>